हेलो व्यूअर्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल लाइक द वीडियो एंड शेयर इट थैंक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी द एनाटॉमी ऑफ द यूट्रस नंबर वन शो द यूट्रस नंबर टू शो द ब्लैडर एंड नंबर थ्री शो द ओवरीज दिस इज द नॉर्मल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द फीमेल जेनिटल ट्रैक सो ऑन द अल्ट्रासाउंड पिक्चर यू कैन अप्रिशिएट आल्सो द स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट इज uterus bladder and uh, this uterus is uh, antiverted and you can appreciate the endometrium as well so this is the life case about the anatomy of the uterus you can see the antiverted uterus with bladder in front posterior wall anterior wall as well as the cervix so this is craniocardial diameter and then the anterior posterior diameter of the uterus you can see the structures of the uterus on this scan pic so this is important to understand the anatomy when to see the pathology today we are going to discuss an important and interesting case of uterine fibroid within young unmarried female these fibroids are very common and they usually cause infertility irregular bleeding and pressure effects within the pelvis from the picture you can understand the fibroid that are multiple in the genital tract the uterus cervix these are the ultrasound pics of the fibroid you can see large mass that is heterogeneous on tvs transvaginal ultrasonography so these are also the pics of the uterine fibroids that are present within the uterus you can appreciate the mass that has ill defined margins and the shape is resembling with that of fibroid and they are multiple in numbers so you can appreciate the mass and this is the cervix of the uterus about 3 to 4 cm in measurement so these mass uh, could be the malignant or benign they are not very common in nulliparous but they usually present within old age 40 plus or 35 plus but this lady present with this mass at the age of 28 or 30 year old you can appreciate the bladder urinary bladder this mass is putting pressure on the pelvic structures there may be varicose vein in the lower limbs or there could be viruses at the vaginal region so on putting the power doppler you can see the vascularity of the mass blood flow is there in the mass see the power doppler study there is blood flow in the periphery as well as within the mass and it is of heterogeneous nature there are sinuses within the within the mass area of solid and cystic consistency are present within the mass so the pressure on the great vessel can result in the viruses in the lower limb as well as in the vaginal region and there could be the pressure effect on the ureter as well you will see in the next few frames of the ultrasound so this is the fundal region of the uterus that is having large mass that could be the fibroid and their area of cystic consistency hypoechoic and hyperechoic areas within that mass we we'll like to rule out this mass on investigation like uh biopsy or ct scan 
of the pelvis. So this is the liver and I would like to focus on the kidneys on both sides to see the pressure effects of this mass. See the liver and the extension of the mass up to the epigastrium. You can see the liver as well as the extension of the mass in the epigastrium region. So you can see mild hydronephrosis on the left side along with the spleen. This is the spleen and the kidney on the left side. Patient is also complaining about the urine tract infection symptoms. So see the kidney on the right side. I would like to focus it on the right kidney. The mass has pushed the liver and the kidney due to the pressure effects. This is on the left side. I like to focus on the right side. This is the liver. And see, this is the kidney and this is hydronephrosis. Mild hydropelvis and distension of the pelvic glacial system. So mass is putting pressure on the kidney due to the mass or pressure factor on the both ureter. See the mild hydronephrosis, mild hydronephrosis of the right kidney. So these are the very uncommon cases, but they do present in the young nulliparous women. Most of the time they are present in the 40 plus women with the multiparity. The patient has complaints of irregular menstrual bleeding, pain in the lower abdomen and pressure effects. So these see so see this hydronephrotic kidney on the right side with the liver and this hydronephrosis is mild due to the pressure effect on the uterus. Pressure effect of the uterus on the ureters and the pelvis. So this is a huge mass pushing pressure on the ureter and the great vessels within the pelvis. So this is very interesting case in the nulliparous female and uh, she is young and uh, having large mass within the pelvis. Thanks for watching the video. Please like the video and share the video. Thanks.